Hey everyone, Sam Battersby from Grio's Garage, and today we're going to talk about a three-step paint correction method using our complete compound, complete polish, and best of show liquid wax. So to start out, use our G9 random orbital polisher here. We're going to start with our microfiber fast finishing pad and our complete compound. This is going to be a good initial step to cut out moderate to heavy defects, moderate to heavy swirls, scratches, water spots, things like that. When you're first starting with a fresh pad, this is the only time you'll use this much product. We're going to go ahead and swirl from the outside in, or you can go from the inside out, get a nice even layer on there, and then we'll rub it in with the dome lid. Great way to keep your hands clean. So this will be our initial step for moderate to severe defects. Throw the cord over your shoulder, put the pad onto the paint before you turn the tool on to prevent slinging product everywhere. We're going to do about three to five passes here. So the goal is going to be to keep the pad as flat as possible on the panel, and we're going to work in a crosshatch pattern. I'm going to start out at speed three, do a really quick spread pass, and then I'll speed up to speed four or five for the rest of the work. Go ahead and power it on. Let your pad slow down before you pull the tool off the surface, again, so you don't sling product everywhere. One important thing to note about microfiber pads, they will mat down when you've done a section about that size. Ideally, you want to brush this matting back up to a fluffy fiber to maintain defect removal. So I'm going to take our pad conditioning brush, slow the tool down to speed two or three, and simply drag the brush from in and out as the tool spins. Now you have a nice fluffy microfiber pad again, so that's ready to continue removing defects. Take our plush edgeless towel, and just quickly wipe off product residue here. We're going to notice a little bit of haze from the microfiber in this plain black finish, but that is okay. That's why we're doing a two-step method to remove that with the complete polish, refine the finish, get as much nice deep black gloss out of it, and then we'll finish it off with the best of show wax. Big benefit of using the microfiber for that initial step is it's going to work a little bit quicker and be a little bit more capable of removing a heavier defect than foam will. So now we're going to move to the orange correcting foam. It's important to make sure you have the pad as centered as possible on the backing plate. You also have that center cooling hole to help do that with. If the pad is off center, you may experience increased vibration through the orbital. So now we'll use the polish. Same deal here with a fresh pad. We're going to swirl from the inside out or the outside in. Get a nice even layer on there. And then we'll quickly rub it in with the dome lid. Alrighty. And now we're ready to go. So we've got the majority of the work done with our initial pass or our initial step. Now we're going to come in and just remove this haze, add as much depth and gloss to the panel as we can. Complete Polish is also capable of removing fine defects if there are any left behind other than the haze. Now we're going to do only about three passes this time. This is going to be a much quicker step because we've already done the majority of the work. So now we're just getting that last bit. Quick spread pass. We're going to work at speed four, and we're just going to do three passes. Again, slow down, pull it off the panel, and flip to a clean side of our plush edges towel, and we'll wipe off the complete polish. Very easy wipe off. Just flip, we'll get that last bit. And you can see now the paint is much darker and more crisp than it was when we started. All of those heavy swirl marks are gone and we've achieved that appearance that we're looking for. No defects. So now we're gonna come in with our best of show liquid wax and add even more 
color depth and clarity to this black finish. And we're also gonna protect it with this product. So this will lay down layer of protection and enhance the finish even further. Best of show is a Carnuba based wax. So it's gonna be better at achieving that really warm color depth and clarity out of a dark finish like black that we have here. And again, we'll swirl it on the pad. I'm not gonna use quite as much. That's enough to probably do this whole hood, but we're just gonna spread it out over this small section. When you're waxing with an orbital, there's not a lot of work involved. We're gonna bump down to speed three. You could even go as low as two if you wanted. You just want a, a good consistent rotation. And the goal here is to get a thin, even layer applied. We don't wanna over apply it, and we don't need to spend a lot of time. So I'm only gonna do one or two quick passes. You also don't need to work as slow. You can go much quicker here. So just a nice even layer with no heavy fixed spots. Normally, you would want to let this set up and dry to a haze, which can take about 20 to 30 minutes depending on the environment. But for demonstration's sake, we'll go ahead and wipe it off right now. Give it a quick flip and a final buff. And now we have the end result that we want. It's really, really glossy, tons of depth, and really, you know, as, as much depth as we're probably gonna get out of this black. Really, really good looking panel now. All those defects are gone. For more information on the three-step process and the products that we used here, visit griotsgarage.com. And as always, have fun in your garage.